Okay guys, here we go. You know the score by now. Saving what we can from landfill. Let's get started. Got here recycling. Doesn't look like we're very lucky in there today. Sometimes I've had mobility scooter seats batteries, anything out of there. Um, yeah, not on this occasion. It's all sorts in here from a bathroom place. But... Nothing jumping out of me that's too exciting. general rubbish really nothing in that one either this is obviously what happens sometimes this is why I'm recording it all because yes we find good items but um, sometimes you can go out for a couple of hours and get absolutely nothing it's really hit and miss but this just documents the reality because I want to be as honest as I can be with everyone so I think we need to head to McDonald's and get a little coffee because it's 22 minutes past five and I need waking up. Okay, I have got the coffee. Surely things can only get better from now. We will see. Cherry shop bin, suitcase but it's been out in the rain, see what goodies we've got in here. Funky light shade or vase or something. It's metal though, so you could start with that. VW Beetle, a chalkboard thing. Take that tub because that'd be useful. Little bits. Even though it's a cherry shop bin, it's just full of their general rubbish, really, is not. Massive amount of anything decent. A 
I think I'll check these bags here. And that'll do for this one. That's cool. Like a Minecraft thing. Fortnite blaster thing. We will take them. We can do something with them. Nerf target. X shot. Take them as well because they probably go with that. They probably go in there. I've had nerf guns from similar stores. I think they don't like selling them because they're guns, even though they're toys. But I get it. That's it for that bag. Another one of them darts. paper shredder thing. Oh, we have some meerkats. They're quite cool. We've still got the tags on. Do something with them, make a bundle. There's a phone, but it stinks of smoke. More meerkats. Good bags. So, possibly. Take that. Nothing too exciting though, guys. Sometimes I get some boxes out of here for decent. Sounds decent. It's like a double, double whammy, I can find the stuff. I can get the boxes as well. That will do me with that. There's all packaging to the meerkats. Okay, we will head to our next location. 
Okay, another charity shop bin. Like a world map. wrong with it not broken or anything slimming world books Keyboard. Never get anything too great in this one. Oh, like a leather hold all kind of thing. I'll do. Race night DVD. Cool, like a little till thing. Resistance bands. Ooh. Little speaker. general waste down there. We'll take them a few bits. That will do us. Good morning everyone. Welcome to the video. It is May the 6th. It is bank holiday Monday so I've had an extra day for sales so I'm going to do some picking and packing. I just need to give the garage a bit of a tidy up. There's some bits everywhere from dumpster diving, car boots and some new stock to list and things like that. So yeah, it's been a funny weekend. I'll spin you around and show you what's happening. So yeah, we have a bit of stock everywhere, but it is organized, trust me. I know what everything is. Some of this is from dumpster diving, so I just need to sort through what's good to sell on eBay and what's gonna be sort of car boot stock, which is my little pile down there. And then I've got a guy that might come and buy that off me. Um, 2DS from car boot pickup. From my last video that's charged up ready tested ready to sell i've been listing some of the games again over here got some new stock all that to photograph and list i've got some help with me this morning so i'm just going to turn the laptop on birthday cake for breakfast uh, and the um, remote control car i'm going to get photographed and get that listed as well so Got all my boxes of stock, pull up the orders, see what's sold, pull it out here and get it packaged. That's the first job for today. Right, there we go. We've got the laptop fired up. I've got you on the tripod. I'm going to pick out the orders. Uh, my wife's going to shout out what's sold and where it's stored because hopefully the SKU system should work for every item, but we will see. So over the bank holiday weekend, so probably from about Friday to today, Monday, we have sold 15 items totaling £263. So mostly sort of smaller, lower value items, but I have got some nice higher value items to list. So I'll be getting them on next week. So let's get started um, with the oldest order. 
We'll start at the bottom. And we have got a jigsaw. Both of them are sold. Ah, both of them are sold, aren't they? And the Hot Wheels. Yep. So I'll memorise a few things at once and go and grab them. So I have sold two of these. These are shown in a jumble sale video. Picked them up for 50p a piece. One sold for £10 and one is sold for £12.99. One of Scotland and one of England and Wales. So that is good. Um, How much is this sold for? Uh, £10 plus tax. I have sold the Hot Wheels uh, Build and Slam like Raceway kit. I bought about five of these on Amazon when they had like a good deal. Um, I think they were 4.99, and that's gone off for ten pounds. So not a massive amount of profit, but gets it gone. What four packs of? Photos? Yeah, they're stored. We have got four packs of photo paper, um, like HP. They haven't got a skew, so I need to try and find them. I'm going to come back to it in a moment. It looks like a full size. One of these jackets is sold, isn't it? How much is that sold for? £15.50. There we go. So. Four packs of this HP A4 sized uh, everyday photo paper, semi glossy, 100 sheets in a pack. And because they bought multiple, that has gone for £15.50. And I got them from the charity shop for about a pound a piece. Okay, next. L'Oreal Fox 8. L'Oreal 8. Have I sold some more of them? Mm, or is it just the other one? Side. No. In 8. How much? Uh, L'Oreal um, Replumping Gel Wash. How much? Four ninety nine. I think these I got about ten of these for a couple of quid in. Where did I get these? Morrison. Morrison's of all places. So when you're doing your food shops, always check down all the sort of homeware aisles and things like this. There's always sort of clearances. Two pound a piece to four ninety nine. I'm making a couple of quid on each one. Happy with that? Mm, high tech waterproof shoes. Some shoes. We've got a pair of waterproof walking shoes. I think I originally got these for my wife, but they were a bit tight. Um, good condition. Sold for eighteen ninety nine. They came off vinted. You can see their little waterproof tag. So yeah, they probably cost me six or seven pound or so. So happy to move them on. Callaway Edge Three. We've sold a golf club. Again, that could be anywhere. I don't know anything about golf clubs, but what I do know is I find a lot of them thrown out in the charity shop bins, so any that look Sort of decent, I pick them up. Callaway Diablo Edge number three, 21 degrees, and low torque mid kick shaft. Uh, that has gone for 17 pounds on offer. It was listed for 20. Again, found it dumpster diving. Happy to accept that offer. Now, 
Oh, Next up. Death Leopard t-shirt. A Death Leopard t-shirt? But it's not ski. No, because it, that'll just be enclosed in. Let's have a look closing in there. That one. Nice. Death Leopard t shirt. Got this in a charity shop in the sale rail for a pound and it's sold for $9.99. Nothing on the back. I think it's a modern copy. 2023. It's the kind of thing you'd get in Asda or somewhere like that. But yeah, for a pound, I'll pick up sort of band tees like that. That's good. Okay. And then I've got denim jackets. Yeah, you've got a couple more for everything. Six Only Fools and Horses plush fan. Uh, would have been picked up with a car boot for a pound or two. Six ninety nine. Plays a theme tune. Yeah. Is what it is. Make a few quid on that one. Next up. One flower. Seven. Seven. Okay. Okay, go to that. Um, and toys and games. I've already said that's the last one. No, I've got that. You've got your Harry Potter books. Yeah. Sold as denim jacket. Yeah, uh, box eight. Really. Uh, which one? Angel Tasmania. So, if you're a watcher of the channel, you would have seen that I picked up two of these Warner Brothers yeah. denim jackets. Cost me a tenner each. They've both got a Tasmanian devil embroidery on the back. This is the angel one. This is sold for $49.99. So that is a good item out the door. You've got your mini force. Uh, yes. We have got a Disney style Minnie Mouse sort of clutch bag women's purse. <clears throat> sold for $8.99. I actually picked this up on holiday when we went to Turkey. There were three for a tenner, so I picked up a couple of other ones and then this one I was going to sell. So I've made a bit of money back there. We've got a Little Mermaid flounder plush, £7 on offer, I think I listed them for 9 99 I've got another one as well with the official Disney store stamp on it, found dumps to dive in, give them a bit of a clean, it's all profit and it saves an item from going from landfill. Mm, Harry, Potter Harry Potter set of books, should be over here somewhere. I sold a set of a full set of seven Harry Potter books. It's not got a SKU number and I can't see it in my rack quickly, so we'll come back to that one. But it's sold for £20. 
Harry Potter books I pick up for 50p a pound a piece when I see them and make up the set. It's worth doing. We have sold like a silvery chrome letterbox um, front with a knocker. Got these from Dunelm Mill, £3.75. I think that might have been half price again, I can't quite remember. But I've got some silver ones and some gold ones. Uh, it's gone for eight quid. They've been hanging around for about 12 99 so I reduced them down and took some offers. Because they've not been selling, which is what happens sometimes. Um, okay, last one is a Ray Ban glasses case, which is in the skew box. Yeah. It's not been skewed yet. It says I've just been listed. Mm -hmm. We have got another dumpster diving find, if you can see it there. A Ray Ban glasses case. I sold another one of these the other week. Um, how much has this gone for? It's gone for £10. It's found dumpster diving, so it's all profit. But anything with a bit of a name on it, I will take. And it's worth something. So that's everything that's sold on eBay. I have got this bundle of plush. Which includes a bit of everything. Thing. Some of the Christmas Aldi toys. Little tykes, uh, Harrods dinosaur, not Harrods, uh, Hamleys. We have got a Peter Rabbit, another one, the Aldi Christmas mouse in a mince pie, and a vintage pull along Noddy toy. So I sold these on Lindsay and Alvin's Not What auction. Go and check out their channel, uh, so I need to get them shipped off as well. So yeah, I'm going to have a look for these Harry Potter books, set you up on another bit of a time lapse, get all this stuff wrapped up. Okay, we're just finishing off with the last few orders. I still need to just find the uh, Harry Potter books. And we've just had a landslide of packaging. No. So I've got all like boxes stored right up ne next to my desk. And I just keep building a big wall. And I think they just gave way. So yeah, I need to find the Harry Potter books. They should be on the rack in there, unless I put them away in a box and didn't skew it up. Um, little man, get this photographed, bag of parcels there, I'm thinking it's a nice day, get this white table outside into the garden and get some bits photographed like the Nerf gun, the remote control car and some other bits up there, um, so that's the next job. There we go, I've got my table set up outside, I've got a few bits to photograph which works quite well there in the sun with the backdrop. Um, if anything it's too sunny sometimes you get the shadows but you can get it to look fairly good if you stand out the way like that uh, the good thing is I've also got the grass and then I've got a shaded bit at the back there I can use the wall as a backdrop as well so I've got some vintage games job lot of Lego see the Nerf gun got a bag of dinosaurs and things some meerkats, some squash rackets, 
might do them on the grass so yeah that's my next job get this lot photographed while I've been photographing outside I've had a couple more sales come in a JLS mug for $5.99 or $6.99 uh, got a load of them for 99p each. An Aston Martin brand new polo top sold on offer for £14. I think I got that on Vinted. And I've also turned on my laser cutter. So if you don't know, this is another sideline or another sort of income stream of my business. Totally unrelated to reselling, but they can work sort of hand in hand together. So a lot of the time I use this to make things at Christmas personalized gifts and things like that and the rest of the year it's just sat here but I decided to start doing a bit of merch so getting some samples of people's logos and getting things made so yeah we'll get that fired up and I'll show you that next so I've not used this for a long time so you'll have to bear with me but I've just fired it all up uh, got some coasters set up inside so basically how it works is it has a, a gas filled co2 tube at the back it sends a laser beam through a series of mirrors and sends it down onto whatever you're cutting or engraving. You can change the power and the speed and things like that. And then it's basically just got an extraction system on the back, just like a bathroom extractor, which sends that hose up and out of my garage to get rid of the nasty fumes. And the tube is also cooled, but it's quite a warm day, so it's already quite hot. That's basically in that tub a little water pump and it just feeds cool water through the laser tube to cool it down um, but you can put like ice packs and stuff in there to help it because if you run it too hot you can damage the tube and burn it out so I'm just going to get a design loaded up I'm doing some samples for some other resellers so if you are interested I've got key rings as well I haven't got any to hand I don't think I'll pop a photo up I do coasters and key rings for merch £15 for 10 as a minimum order, there's no design charge or anything like that and then £1.50 per item after that. So yeah, I've got a few resellers interested, they've sent me over their logo so I'm going to get some loaded up. I think Tommy Trades, I'm going to do yours first. Uh, yeah, and then I'll show you it in action. Okay, so I've just edited his logo so it's nice and uh, black and white. That's what the machine likes to engrave. So we're just going to make a few settings for the speed and stuff, position's okay and then we'll hit go and watch it begin. It basically runs backwards and forwards, um, engraving the image basically. I'll probably open the lid and do a bit of a time lapse so you can see a bit better. There we go, so it's just finishing up nearly. It takes a few attempts just to get the settings bang on, so obviously you can set the different height, that's what that little thing does there. You need to get the height set correctly, you need to get your power set and your speed. So yeah, not too bad on the first one, but we can probably make some improvements. Um, so I'll get a few samples for Tommy Trades made, get them sent over to him, but yeah. If you are interested message me on Instagram the same name as my YouTube George's Treasure Shed £15 for 10 minimum order um, yeah that is my laser cutter there we go these are coming out an absolute treat so I'll send some photos of these over to Tommy and uh, see if he's happy and wants to order any they're perfect for whatnot giveaways or just to include in your ebay orders and things like that send out to regular customers also sustainably sourced materials some little feet on the bottom all individually packaged yeah very happy with them so i think i'm going to wrap up this video here it's been a bit of a bank holiday monday kind of vlog style video i don't know it started out being picking and packing but then um, I include the dumpster diving footage from yesterday morning as well. So, and yeah, some photographing of things. So a bit of everything. Hope you've enjoyed it anyway. 
hope you had a good bank holiday drop this video a like if you are new subscribe to my channel there's new reselling content every sunday you won't be disappointed so till next time see you in a bit